So tell me a little bit then about the user. Uh, user guide. User guide. Uh, so the most recent one, Manual S. Uh, Manual S has had a transformation. It started out as a very informative document. And when ACCA earned its ANSI accreditation, which means we were a national standards development organization, SDO, uh, they took that informative document and said, okay, everything that says should is now shall. Okay. Everything that was may is now must. Yeah. And that's, that's a, that's, that, that cre can create some issues. It does. It immediately, people shut down. Immediately, people are like, well, yeah, yeah why and even something read that it? was a yeah. good idea is now a requirement. Yeah. Well, no, no, it was always a good idea. It's, yeah. <laughs> and so yeah. we rewrote it, and uh, it, we had some uh, uh, leadership changes within the organization. And so the next version was delayed a little bit, but it just came out. So okay. the standard manual S nice. equipment selection S doesn't stand for secret. It, it's a, uh, it is for equipment selection. Okay. And nice. a lot of people don't know that you go from manual J through manual S yeah. and onto your duct design. Yeah. There's a way to say, oh wait, this piece of equipment is a two ton, but it doesn't meet my 24,000 BTU load. Yeah. Why is that? Well, and read manual S, they'll tell you all about it. Yeah. Or the user's guide, because there'll be examples there. And so the manual S, uh, we re, did that, tried to be as clear and concise as possible. Yeah. We saw heat pumps coming on in a big way. Right. And we still believe heat pumps should be sized primarily for cooling in most climates. Yeah. But there are a number of places that want to size a heat pump for heating and that needs to be done in a way that is thought through. Yeah. And so we worked with a small group of folks, experts, manufacturers, to create those guardrails. Nice. And then we went through review processes, a lot of internal, informal review processes to get opinions of other contractors, other experts. Is this, are we writing good stuff here? And then there's a formal review committee and then it goes out for the whole public. Anybody can read and comment. So that's a little bit on manual S and the development, standards development process. But to answer your question about the user's guide, yeah, that's what I was after we've got <laughs> that's this good. That's good. nice, concise set of rules, holy cow, what does this mean? Right. And so this book will walk through that and explain that and give examples of that, illustrate that. Yeah. And uh, our friend Russ King is the one who authored that manual. Oh, awesome, nice. Uh, there's a session on that here at the conference. So. Okay.